Hello, what up? What up, people? I just got back from the studio here in London. It's like 9 or 10 p.m. Been working really hard. I'm excited for everything. Um, I'm excited to go to the gym tomorrow. But um, I wanted to talk about my fear of intimacy. Um, it's something that I genuinely do have, and it might be hard to see online, but in person, a lot of people can see that. By the way, damn, my arm looks kind of big right now. What? Sorry. Um, you could see, <laughs> you could see that um, I am. I do have a fear of intimacy, and it's not something that people can really see. You know, it's a internal feeling. Um, and I've kind of always had it. Um, and I think there's a couple key things that um, lead to that. You know, I I think I already said it. I'm so tired. Um, but I have a song called Fear of Intimacy. And I wrote that song based on my fear of intimacy. And if you listen to the song, it, it describes my fear of intimacy and in more of like a relationship dynamic. But I think it's all around. I am terrified of love. Um for those of you that don't know, I was adopted, um, and I think that was uh, one of the first things that led to a fear of intimacy was like, okay, um, I remember growing up in school, I was like, when I was like seven or eight years old, I was really confused why that happened, you know, why things happened the way they did, and it caused me to have some trust issues, you know, and be scared of love because sometimes I was a little bit angry um, at the decision that 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 was made about um me you know about me being adopted and it's still something i cope with now but i'm a, i've i'm more grateful you know i'm i'm very grateful actually for that because i've been able to have a very meaningful life and have people around me that love and care for me and have a good family and um you know um i'm very blessed to have had that happen so but I do think that still plays a big role into my fear of intimacy because I have like trust issues and abandonment issues. So in relationships with friends and with romantic relationships, I'm super quick to either cut people off or get like in my head about it and just like run away from it or not express how I really feel in my head because I'm scared and I don't know how to express it and even some of the closest people in my life have you know mentioned to me like hey like like I don't know like I've liked people before and they have no idea I like them because I'm so scared like I, I genuinely like them more than anything in the world and they don't even know because I'm so in my own head that I don't I guess I don't even say it but to me it feels like they already know because I feel that way right but I think expressing my feelings in that type of um, dynamic, whether a friendship or a romantic relationship is really challenging for me. Um, you know, intimacy is something that I'm terrified of. I'm, I have this like fear that like, if people got to know the real me, they wouldn't like me. And that's like, I always feel like I'm not enough, you know, and it's weird, you know, opening up on YouTube about this, but I mean, that's true, you know, like, um, so I think that's a huge thing is like, uh, you know, the adoption and there's a lot of other things you know I've had relationships before and then they end and um, I guess also growing up in the the public I feel like people have a certain perception of me so it's like a weird awkward thing when people meet me because I don't know if they know who I am or they have a preconceived idea of who I am so it's like weird finding the balance between how much of me is really real on the internet and how much of me is just like different in real life. And I guess that's a huge thing I have to figure out. And um, I think expressing my emotions more is something that I need to get better at. Um, like I'm not good at like going on dates. Like I I don't really do that that often, you know. Um and uh, that's something that I'd want to work on is, like, you know, get more comfortable doing that. Um, and, like, I'm, like, a shy person. Like, I spend a lot of time alone. Like, I, I write music. That's, like, what I do. I post on social media. I have fun doing it. Um, and, like, I'm just not very, like, social. You know, I have, like, five really good friends, and that's, like, it, you know? I'm cool with a ton of people. And I mean, like, mutual friend type of thing. Um, 
and I get to work with so many cool people. Um, and I would say like I'm friends with a ton of people, but like I'm mainly surrounded by like a group of like five people. And, you know, I'm very appreciative for that. That's like a cool thing. I'm I'm happy about that. But I also, I don't know, I just wish sometimes I wasn't as scared of like actually expressing how I feel. Like for the longest time, I was terrified to say I love you to people, like even my own parents who raised me, you know, um, and I guess the fear was that it made me feel so like awkward inside. I don't know. It's like a weird thing that I have to work through is that I'm like terrified of love. And I love like joking about stuff to make things like, you know, lighthearted and people not take it seriously. But like, I think genuinely I am like absolutely terrified of loving and being loved. And that's like something I really want to learn how to do better in my life because I only get one life. And that's something that like I hope like when I have kids or to, I mean to even have kids, you know, I've got to figure this out <laughs> with somebody. So, uh, you know, hopefully by the time if my kids watch these videos, you know, um, hopefully I figured it out, you know. And that's a, it's like a ongoing thing, you know, it never just like goes away like. I get super comfortable with people, but like I'm still not even able to just like be myself. Like I'm I'm even scared to like eat in front of people, dude. Like I I don't know. There's like certain things that I'm still like working through and like dude, yes, I go to therapy, but like maybe I should talk I've already talked so much to my therapist about this. So like, you know, at the end of the day, the way to improve this for anybody else that's out there, like you just got to start doing it. Like you got to start going on the dates. You got to start saying what you mean. Like you got to start sometime and just like deal with the discomfort of it. And that's something that I I've done at certain points and like more recently I've done, but it's something that I need to continue to do if I want this to like actually become manageable and I'm aware of that. So that's something I really want to work toward and um I thought I would just like make this video about my fear of intimacy because it's a real thing. People might have heard my song and just assume like, oh, that's like a cool song, like, eh, like emo, yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. It's like, no, no, like that's like genuinely how I feel and I'm like terrified of other people. And so, yeah, I hope this video uh, might relate or something. I don't even know, but this is cool, man. These videos are like a video diary of my life and they're uncut and they're real and they're um, raw. So, uh, I wonder if people will ever find this channel. Who knows? Maybe not, but I'm going to keep doing it as long as I have the energy to do so, you know? Um, but yeah, if anybody else feels this way, please comment down below. I'd love to, like, have a conversation in the chat below. And be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel. Please do. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Yeah. It's crazy saying that, you know, I got a main YouTube channel with like 3 million or whatever, but this is like a top secret thing, dude. I've hardly ever promoted this channel, so I'm um, I'm very excited about this, and I'm appreciative of everybody that uh, that tunes in and watches. So, thank you so much.